leave her there. Write something. You write something. I got my own problems. This is on you. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Ricky Schultz cut, and she stopped posing. Who's Ricky? He's a photographer. I thought it was Andrew. Whatever, don't interrupt. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's gone. No. I lost it. No, it's not gone. It's gone. No, it's not gone. Get it back. <sighs> Nothing. Get it back. I hate it when you do that. Get it back. Jeez, find it, bring it back. Get it back. Gone. Find it. Bring it. Bring it back. Jesus, I hate it when you do that. Bring it. Jeez. Back. Find it. Bring it back. You do realize, of course. What? You're writing what we just said. I am so bad. <laughs> yes. Well, you're no help, bitch. Yeah, it wasn't my idea. Oh, I know you hated it. I much. hated it. Cliched piece of crap. A photographer and a model in Venice. Ooh, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah. I still like the professors and the grad students. Oh, like that's not a time-worn chestnut. I like it. He's a crap writes itself. I still like it. I gotta get a coffee. Mojito! <sighs> coffee! Mojito? Uh, I'm on the wagon. Mojito. Mm. What's in those things? Mm. White rum, lime juice, sugar, water, and mint leaves. Handpicked by gorgeous, sweaty Cuban men. And by sweaty, I mean in a good way. Give me one of those. How far did we get? Not far. Uh, how far? First chapter far? Mm. Not that far. Ricky starts taking pictures far? Andrew. His name is Andrew. I thought he was Ricky. No, oh, Ricky's the con man on the bridge. Remember? The shell game guy. I thought that was Philip. Oh, Philip's dead. Remember? Lauren didn't like him. Oh, yeah. Killed him dead. She killed him dead. She hated him. Squealed like a girl. I can't write this crap. Crap, crap, crap. It's all crap. It's all crap. <laughs> you write this? No, Lauren. It's crap. What have I been saying? Any ideas? Maybe. Where's the cigarettes? Oh, right there. So what's her name? Oh, here it is, Nikki. Nikki. So Nikki says. When's she gonna be here? Don't know. When's she gonna be here? Yesterday. Yesterday. And she doesn't speak English. She what? <laughs> How can she not speak English? How can she not speak English? Everybody speaks English. Everybody speaks English. Not her. Not her. Everybody speaks English. She's from a village somewhere. Where? I don't know. Agency said she's fresh, though. <laughs> fresh with no English. Yeah, so? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. She must be cheap, though. Cheap as dirt. <laughs> Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Agency said she's good. I saw the pics. They're good. Which agency? Milano? No. Italiana? No. Claudio. You're an idiot. I know. Who's Claudio? Tell her. Who's Claudio? He's a shyster. He's not a shyster. He's, a he's not a con artist. He's not a con artist. He's a businessman. And he's cheap. Cheap as dirt. Come on, let's shoot this before she gets back. What's up with you guys? Nothing's up. I just want you to myself for a while. Come on. Down. Move. Something's up with you guys. Nice. Nice. 
tonight. What are you guys breaking up or something? Oh my god. Don't tell her you know. She doesn't know. Of course she knows, Zippy. She was the first to know. Well, well how'd she take it? There's another woman. You think I got time for another woman? Have you seen my work schedule? I meant for her, oh. Zippy. Yeah. To New World, Bosco. Sorry. So, how'd she take it when she told her? I didn't. I thought you said that she knew. She does. Oh. Yeah. She told you. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, man. Shit, David, didn't you propose to her here in Venice? Yep. Wow. You were shooting that travelogue. Yep. And you proposed. Yep. Wow. Do you want to shoot some more? No. Yeah. Me neither. Okay, here. Let's try this. What? You told her. You told her? She's your sister. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. They stood there for a while, looking at each other, here in this place where he had proposed to her the fateful and fabled seven years ago, when their love for each other burned so bright and now felt as light and thin as... as a silken veil thrown upon a marbled floor. Ooh, that's good. I know. It's brilliant. It just came to me. Bring that, David and Rachel. Carnival and Venice. Our very first book together. They said it wouldn't sell. <laughs> we showed them. We showed them all. Mm -hmm. How's it going? <laughs> Good stuff? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, my. You brought back David and Rachel? Yeah. It's brilliant. It's crap. And they're splitting up? It's brilliant. It's crap. Those characters made us. Everybody loved those characters. They'll love them again. They'll love them again. <laughs> There's no way we're going to take Lynn Faversham's favorite characters and throw them off a cliff. I thought we were all Lynn Faversham. Only when we all agree on something. Otherwise, it's just you and me. And me. You like this? I love it. You'll learn to love it. Give me the fag. No, what? Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Scoot. It's no. my turn. I'll never agree to uh, You don't have to. We'll outvote you. Oh, you wouldn't do. Oh, just watch me. Okay, let's revisit the professors and the grad students. I knew you were going to go there. Did you? No surprise then. Oh, you going to blackmail me with that pot boiler? If I have to. Oh. Hang on, hang on. It says that uh, we made him a romantic. Romanticist. Romanticist. He teaches at the uh, U of M. He teaches the romantic poets. Beautifully. Yeah, which makes his grad student and his female colleague both think about falling in love with him. They think about it. Lame-o! Shh, girls working! And one day, as he recited something that held them in his thrall near the Rialto. Wait! Too noisy. Make it sound Stefano. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure. Go. Okay. Okay. So. One day, as he received something that held them in his thrall, recited something. What I say? I'll oh, keep going. Uh, that's near San Stefano. Uh, where's San Stefano? A big church in San Polo. Where? Where you break, broke your heel. Oh. I twisted your ankle. Yeah. yeah. We carried you to some steps. Yeah. Oh, younger than. Oh, much younger. <sighs> keep going. Go. That's it. He recites something. They fall under his spell. No. No, no spell. Who said spell? I never said spell. I said thrall. No cheap romance. You gotta be strong. Okay, thrall then. Go. Oh. Finished with your thesis yet? Almost. What's your advisor think? Ask him. Oh, that's right. Lord Byron over here is your advisor, isn't he? You know, sarcasm is an inferior mode of expression. So is fawning over someone who has your future in his hands. I seem to recall I asked you to be my advisor first. And I seem to recall that you weren't a serious student at the time. Fair enough. <laughs> no, not fair. Not fair at all. I mean, come on, Allison. You're being snide. Snide? Short. I'm being short? Yes. Yes? Well, sorry. Sorry. Jet lag, my soul's somewhere over the North Atlantic hasn't caught up to me yet. All right. Sorry. I gotta focus. Hey. Sorry. It's not your fault. Don't go far. Do you 
think she knows? Don't know. Think she'd care? Don't know. I do think you're a beautiful person. So you say. Not just because you're my advisor. So you say. We're gonna be able to be alone somehow? <laughs> Couldn't bear it if we weren't. Private conference for my thesis. Maybe. Midnight assignation to my bedroom. Like Byron. Yeah. We'll make it work. Hope so. I mean, we are in Venice after all. It'd be a hell of a waste of airfares and conference fees if I didn't. Do you in Venice? Yes. Is she coming back yet? No. Where is she? Just over there. A million miles away. Before I hack that black little pound of flesh from my heart, I'm gonna play the game for a while. I'm gonna engage, just to make sure, just to make sure that I really wanna end it with you. you. Better tell that little groupie that she's in the major leagues now. Actually, never mind. I'll tell her myself. My jet lag's gone, I'm done. You coming? Damn. Game on. Okay, game on. What time is it? Uh, nine o'clock. Oh, I gotta quit. Been a long day. Driving here, unpacking. Yeah. How would you describe her face? A vision of beauty. Ooh, flattery. I like it. <laughs> no, her expression. What's she thinking? I'll make a deal with you. What kind of deal? I'll give you the professors and the grad student if you'll lay off David and Rachel. That's not a deal, that's a theft. That's a theft. How about this? We do David and Rachel. No, no deal. Uh, just listen. No deal. Just listen. We do David and Rachel, but okay. So they don't break up? They don't break up. They don't break up. But they got to break up, that's the whole point. They, they don't, don't break, break up. up. That's the only way I'll go for it. And then you can do your professors and grad student chestnut. Oh, don't say chestnut anymore. Thingy. Well, then they're going through a, whatchamacallit, a bad patch. Okay, a bad patch. A bad patch, yes? Oh, come on. Oh, all right, a bad patch. Okay. All right. But they don't break up. They, they don't, don't break up. up. Okay. Okay. All right. Or. Oh, God, what now? We do neither of those stories, and we start from scratch. Uh. Oh, now they're listening. <laughs> and I've got another one for you. We hang it up for a while. You know, we had a good run, four books. Five. Five. But you know, it's it's not quite happening now, is it? I mean, I mean, we we never used to fight, and you know, maybe maybe four books is enough. Five. Yeah, five. <sighs> anyway, I gotta quit. Nigel's got a poker game tonight, and I want to call him before it gets out of hand. We'll see you tomorrow. Night. Good night, sweetie. Thanks night. for giving me the big bedroom. Well, you got here first. Yeah, you got here first. Say hey to Nigel. I will. Good night. 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 I don't you know think what she said. We always used to argue. Cats and dogs. It's what we do all the time. <sighs> you can do your professor thingy. Thanks, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should hit it too. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Mwah. We'll have a good day tomorrow. I can just feel it. Good night. Hey. What? Are you kidding me? What? Get back here, missy. Jeez, what? And then you say. What, that I'm going to give up David and Rachel? <laughs> no way. You bitch. <gasps> Language, dearie. You tricked me. No, MJ tricked you. All this kind in the books. Well, perhaps we should just call it quits or something. Or maybe it would be best if we took a break. <laughs> that kind of language focuses the brain real quick, doesn't it? Oh, and I suppose you're immune? No, you just fell for it before I did. I'll tell you one thing, though. You come up with something different by tomorrow, and I'll be happy to consider it. 
Okay? Ah, I really do gotta sleep. Good night. Sweet dreams. Okay. We'll have a good day tomorrow. Okay. come from? A very weird dream. <laughs> Sounds like it. I like it. You like it? Only fair. We're pitching our favorite storylines. Let her have hers. But this wasn't even in the mix yesterday. It doesn't matter. What's your story? You like this? No, it sucks. But let the sister have her say. Go ahead. <sighs> Thanks. Sure. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay. So here's how it goes. Got it? What is that? It's another alleyway, moron. Well, use your back camera. I can't. It's busted. Look in your lens. It looks like Pompeii on a bad day. Oh, sorry. Hang on. How's that? Uh, still kind of dark. Did you grow a beard or something? Yeah, I've been thinking about what you said. What did I say? About Tony. What about him? Well, you know how you said you didn't want to get too serious? I said that? You said that. Yeah, okay. I said that. And I said something like, give me a call when you get it together. Something like that. Yeah, well, dude, you never well, called. Hey, that was what, a month ago? A month is 30 days and 30 nights. I waited 30 days for a pizza once. <laughs> Who hasn't? A guy pulled up in a 68 Camaro like it actually was, 1968 or something. Oh, and the pizza was cold, I bet. No, actually, the pizza was piping hot. Go figure. Oh, a little miracle. Freaking act of God. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call you back? I'll call you. Give me an hour. One hour. Okay. Okay. See ya. Over and out. On three, one, two, three. Not sure. Yeah, not sure. Oh, come on, it's good. Where's it going? Where's it going? I'll tell you where it's going. Oh, I know where it's going. Where's it going? Let her tell it. You think you know where it's going? I do. Well, somebody get it going. I'm sitting here like Joe A. Okay, okay, so she she holds up the iPad, too. What is that? It's Venice, man. Oh, yeah, but what is that? It's an alleyway. <laughs> Week. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, how's the food? Uh, good, but expensive. I can't afford it. Too bad. Yeah, I know. Lots of slices of pizza on the trot. Ooh, and I found little paninis, which cake badass butt. <laughs> and I found a little corner joint where I can load up on breadsticks and those little chicken snacks. Oh, you're so bad. I know. <laughs> How are you? Just chilling, hanging with the boys. Oh, yeah, what boys? Usual mopes, Eddie, James, homeboy. Yeah. Yeah, and Tony. Tony? Yeah, Tony. Uh, how'd that happen? He called me. Yeah? Yeah, said he missed you. Huh. What else? Nothing, except he couldn't wait till you got home. Oh. Uh, hey, can I call you back? I gotta get to the museum before they close on me. Naked statues. You know it, Doug. Give me an hour. You got it. Ciao. Okay, ciao. Shit. More? No. Enough. And? You really want us to consider that? I mean, it's cute and it's clever, I suppose, but... It's not the professors and the grad student, and it's not David and Rachel, is it? No, it's not David and Rachel. Is it? I like it. <sighs> Maybe we should draw straws. Maybe we should sip straws. I'm feeling a powerful thirst coming on. Yeah, okay. I'll get them.
Mm. Nigel's still there? Mm. Eight more months. Are you going back? Uh, I don't know. It's too weird even for the wife of a capitalist, even though he's a Brit. Don't you <laughs> miss him? Yes, awfully. Oh, I sound like him now, don't I? <laughs> I miss you awfully, darling. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How about you, how's your head? Uh, burning in hell somewhere by now, I suppose. <laughs> Sixth level, elevator going down. Next stop, basement. <laughs> I thought you were getting back together. Mm, so did I. Uh, what happened? Victoria happened. Victoria? Or Vicky, as he <laughs> likes to call her. <laughs> oh, you'd really like her. She's a lot like you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> How come we didn't know? Well, why would you? It happened weeks ago. I mean, we only get together once every couple of years to squeeze out a book. It's not like we're... I'm sorry. That wasn't nice. Ginger. No, no, she's right. I mean, we call once in a while, I suppose. Oh, come on, we do the book fairs together. Yeah. Yeah, but don't forget, girls. Don't ever forget. What? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 I didn't forget. <laughs> Give me another one of those. Mm -hmm. Libre. Oh, no, yeah, you know, no, that's the way we set it up, remember? No extraneous contact. Muddies the water, uh, clouds the... Water. Uh, throws a monkey wrench in the what you gonna call it. Uh, and besides, what? Well, uh, it what? It's been five years since we wrote Carnival of Venice. Six. Oh, six. And I think we'd all still agree that individually we're still crap, but collectively we can kick some literary butt. <laughs> low level literary butt. <laughs> Very low level. Oh, burn in the fireplace when the logs run out, literary butt. <laughs> Clearance rack. <laughs> your closeouts. <laughs> no, 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 but listen. Listen, we always agreed that we were doing this for the experience. No great expectation. <gasps> book title. Stop it. Uh, it's Gone with the Wind. Not nah, movie. Uh, but from a book. Uh -huh. Go. Uh, mm. I'm dry. No, no floating opera. Floating opera? John Barth, 66. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, no. No, 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 your story. What story? You hated the Skype story. Oh, cut her off. No more oh, cool Libras. No more. Oh. No, what you just said, that we always agreed we were doing this for the experience. Oh, yeah. Three failed hacks joining forces in secret to live out their fantasies. They'd kill us if they knew. <laughs> no kidding. Intellectual scandal, literary fraud, three failed authors write together as one. <laughs> and achieve the height of moderate success. The minimal. The minimal. Of low level success. Of low level. <laughs> Whatever. And we also agreed that we should avoid cross-pollination of our personal lives. <laughs> contamination. Cross-contamination. What'd I say? Huh? Oh, give me that. No! Oh, my lady, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I really miss him. No, no missing him. No, we don't want to know. No cross-pollination. Contamination. What? Oh, never mind. Go on. Oh, and it, it comes out in our work. We lead our lives separately. Then when we get together, the magic happens. It's been magic, yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Damn right, comes out in our work. Otherwise, we're just three ladies having coffee, complaining about men and kids and, and the world. And instead of being Lynn Faversham, we're Lynn Faversham, you guys. Freaking Lynn Faversham. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where's Jack? I haven't seen him since we got here yesterday. Oh, at our son's house in Milwaukee. Road trip. Huh. Yeah, says he doesn't want to be around when we write. Yeah? Says it's like watching cats size each other up for a fight. <laughs> really? A fight that never happens. Oh, I suppose. Listen, you guys. MJ? Hmm? Take that away from her. Uh, give me that height. Just go believe it. Yeah, sweetie. Over here, MJ. 
That's a good girl. I've been thinking. Yeah. About David and Rachel. Oh my gosh, can we just stop with the David and Rachel? Are you okay? Yeah. Got it all out now? Yeah, I'm fine. Continue, continue. Well, I reread Carnival in Venice last night. Yeah. Uh, there's flashlight under the covers. So that's why you didn't get up till noon. Skip breakfast. Got shit faced by the middle of the afternoon. Sorry, sweetie. Yeah, I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah, go ahead. Go on. I reread it last night. And I'm sorry, girls. I'm going to have to dig my heels in here on this one. David and Rachel are just begging to be pulled into a big time drama. They're just asking for it. Not the way I would have put it, but go on. I'm sorry, Lauren. I know you want to leave them there in that little romantic bubble we made for them, and I know you have more invested in them than we do. As I recall, you wrote most of that one yourself. I guess. With our input. Well, of course. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is, if you don't want to resurrect them, uh, update their asses, well, then I guess I will. I, I mean, if we're all in agreement. Feel like your kids are leaving home? Maybe. Hard, isn't it? It depends. On what? On what they do with their lives. Good point. You're a very good point. Look. Let's just let MJ make her case, okay? You guys talk about this already? Constantly. All the time. Oh, you are something. Against the rules? No. Good. Are you good? I'm good. Okay, so we're now we're gonna let MJ make her case, okay? Okay. Okay, MJ, make your case. All right, well, here's what I remember about David and Rachel. Hi, everybody. It's Carnival in Venice. Best time to be here. The best. People floating around in luxurious costumes. Wearing masks so no one can see who they are. It's very interesting. And more than a little exciting. All packed into a city the size of Venice, I guess. You're using my line? What? You're stealing my line. Hey, I saw an opening and I took it. Jeez, are you keeping score now? I gave you that French toast line in Paris. You gave me? That was my line. Whatever. Right? Yeah, whatever. Hey. What? We're gonna finish this. You finish it. Hey! Show some shots of carnival or something. I'm done. Fine. Show some shots of carnival. I know that look. What are you thinking? Nothing. You could have saved the shot. Why don't you tell me where we were? Because I don't know where we are, Bozo. Because if I knew where we were, I would have told you, wouldn't I? What did you just call me? Nothing. I didn't call you nothing. I'll see you back at the apartment. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. Fine. I mean it. Penny store is closed until further notice. Fine. I Fine. Bozo. Hey, everybody. Let me tell you one thing about this place. You either love Venice, or you hate it. It's as simple as that. You're either oblivious to its charms, or it creeps like the damp of a canal into the very fiber of your heart. If you discover you're one of those unfortunates who don't get this place, you should leave right away. Before your vacation's over, you'll never be happy here. But if you come to Venice and find that it's like a dream you had when you were a kid, where things weren't quite real. Where bridges floated over misty water. Where the air was crystal clear like a Technicolor movie. If Venice reminds you of a fleeting glimpse you once had, or even just a careless thought you remember, then you'll fall in love with this place. And if you're lucky, you'll come back to visit her often. And each time you'll remember your childhood, that time you had the strangest dream where animals could talk. Maybe you could fly and buildings floated on the water. <laughs> I love you so much. I know. <laughs> I love you. I know. Me too. 
good enough. They're gonna break up in the end, aren't they? Probably. No! Maybe, it's just a maybe. Really? Yeah! Really? Really? Maybe! And what about you? What about me? Are you willing to give up on the professors and the grad students? <laughs> Hell no, I got that one all figured out. You do? I do. I thought we... No, we didn't. Oh. I supported you on David and Rachel, and now it's my turn. Oh, I... And it's your turn to support me. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. She's like a child, isn't she? A sweet child. Adorable. So tell us your freaking ideas! <laughs> okay, it's not much yet. I just kind of sketched out a couple of things. This all new for you? Sort of. No exploration in college? I guess you're it. <laughs> Allison says... Have you thought about what I said? Wait, wait, ho hold on a minute. Ginger. What? She's a lesbian? Why not? Well, we don't know anything about that lifestyle. It doesn't matter. We don't know anything about the norms or the mores. We don't even know the lexicon. Yeah, the lexicon. It <sighs> doesn't matter. All this stuff is extraneous. How they talk, how they dress, how they screw. Well, I think technically. Ah, uh, we can plug all that stuff in later. Have we learned nothing over the past several years? We're all human beings. That's it. We're all subject to the same human bullshit. Love, hate, jealousy, kindness, cruelty. The rest is just... Window dressing. Yes. Okay. Go on. Jeez. I am working with a couple of old ladies oh, here. Forget it. Go on. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, I, I, I am just not comfortable with this. Oh boy. I'm sorry, Ginger. I, I, I guess I'm old-fashioned that way. I mean, I got nothing against finding love or comfort wherever you can, but uh, this is just not me. It's not us. Well, I mean, even if we could find a way to write it, it just wouldn't ring true. It wouldn't ring. <sighs> sorry, Ginger. Yeah, sorry. But, but go ahead, finish it. What else you got? I'll be back. Stay here. All right. Well, actually, I got nothing. I was kind of hoping you guys would have some input. <laughs> now, why would you hope that? Yeah. Because I got nothing, that's why. God, all that research. Girl on girl, cream pie sandwich, butt plugs, anal beads, facials, threesomes, foursomes, orgies. <gasps> it all got to be too much. Can't anybody just stick it where it belongs anymore? The old in out without all the gymnastics and all that and... and Lubrication? Yeah, lubrication. Oh my God, all we need is a little sex sometimes. Just a little plain and simple sex and a cuddle. Oh, and if we're really lucky, a little love. That's all. Oh, sweetie. Oh, come here, kiddo. We love you. Yeah, we love you. Yes, well then. So, where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us either with the professors and the grad student, or Skype girl and Skype dude. How are you coming with that? Have you got anything more? Well, yeah. Well, let's hear it. Uh, well, okay, it's, it's not much. Here, go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> well, let's see. This is one of my favorite spots. Cool. Hi. Get home. Oh, a couple of weeks. Come see me. I will. If I kiss the camera and you froze it, <sighs> and then you kiss your camera and I froze it, would we then be able to kiss each other on our own screens? What? Okay. We're through here. Give me the cigarette. Okay. It's for your own good. Come on, give it here. Now that was crap. Crap. Admit it. 
I'm so pathetic. <laughs> oh, sweetie, no, you're not. It was cute. It was. Cute. Uh, oh, come on, honey. You were never seriously going to consider that, were you? No, it's crab. I smell crab when I see it. It, it was cute, though. Cute crab? Yeah, cute crab. You're really blessed with this place. Yeah. Jack says it's not heaven. But it's certainly the waiting room. Well, we've reached a certain inevitability, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to bring back Dana and Rachel. I think it's best. It's for the best. All right, OK. But I want you to know, now that we've hashed it out, I'm down with it all the way. You're down with it? She's down with it. I heard. I'll commit to it 100%. Yeah. Uh, hang on. We've been talking about it, and we think that actually you should start this. Oh, one. no, not my idea. Those are the rules. Uh, screw the rules, right? Yeah, screw them. Um... No, really, we'd like you to start it off. That way it'll, you know. Start it off on a good note. Yeah, I mean, we think you see the way the story's got to go, but you'll be the kindest to them. You'll let them down easy. Yeah, you're the man for the job, you know. <laughs> well, thanks. OK. No, 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 you're driving me crazy. It's our job. Let me go. Oh, stop it. Wait. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh. And then we write. That's it. Those are the rules. Oh, wait! I got it. She's got it. She's French. Ah, uh, she don't got it. French. French. The French speak better English than we do. Then she's Roma. She's a gypsy. I think she's got it. Where from? <gasps> Romania. Oh. Romania. Romania. That's good. Oh. Oh. Do it. Oh. She can understand a word you're saying. Oh, yeah. I know she couldn't speak English, but I thought she'd understand a little, you know, enough to get by. Fresh out of the village. Still, they have TV. TV? Yes. Of course she's got TV, but it's Romanian or Bulgarian or whatever. Might as well be Timbuktu. Mm, I speak English in Timbuktu. Really? Still, she's a good model. Unspoiled. I guess. The next Porsche Kova? Jason Penny catalog, maybe. <laughs> you're cruel. She's hot. Mm, no, I'm not kidding. Am I not hobby? Okay, what's up? I got a camera full of film here. Hi, how are ya? She doesn't understand a word, does she? Nope. Okay, so where are we now? I'm just about to make them do something you're gonna like. Okay, so do it. Okay, all right, good. Get in position, girls, okay? Yep, like that, good. Okay, Natalie, over here, please. Okay. Like this. Okay, perfect, my job is done. Hold it. Don't move. Stay, just don't move. Hold. One more. Good, relax. Good. Good. All right, come on, girls. Just a uh, break, don't go far. Gotta go talk to David, okay?
perfection. Agency. Cheap and cheerful. Sleazy, yes, illegal, no, okay? Okay, yeah, only it's just Nikki, that she please. Was... I'm breaking up with my husband, okay? Can you think this way till later? Oh my god. Sis, I. I know. I forgot for a moment. It's all right. Just can you keep a lid on it, please? I'm sorry, sis. It's all right. I'll be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Okay, maybe I should make that call now. I think it'd be best. Okay, yeah. Rachel looks at Natalie, then at Nikki in turn. She then turns her gaze to David in the distance. Okay, enough for a while. So? I like it. So do I. Good. Who's next? What do you mean? I thought you were writing this one. Ah, uh -uh, taking turns as usual. Come on, who wants it? You? Ah, uh, you. Really? Yeah. Sit. Sit, I'll get some snacks. <laughs> okay. Don't start without me. Oh, we won't. Jesus, where is she going with this? Don't know. I mean, I like it, but it's... Different. Yeah. For us. Yeah, for us. No. Oh, here it is. Listen, Rachel says, it's all right. I'll be okay. I'm going to be all right. How do you write all that down? Shorthand. Uh, how could I forget? Don't know. 25 years with Alcoa. GE. Executive secretary. Personal assistant. Boss was an idiot. Boss was my second husband. Oh. And an idiot. Oh. So, what's your point? What point? He was an idiot. No, with Rachel. Oh, I don't know. It's just that she seems to be accepting the, um, I don't know, the inevitability of the breakup, I guess? MJ. What? Is that such a surprise? I mean, they argued like cats and dogs in Carnival, and it was the best twist in the world when he proposes to her. Yeah. And when she accepts. Yeah. Pure romance. That's why people liked it. Love conquers all. Yeah. Until it turns to shit. Yeah. Hi. What? We said we'd wait. Screw it. I got an idea. Go. As I sat there on the stones of Venice, as I sat there on the Venetian stones, as I stood there surveying the scene, as I sat there watching the world unfold before me. Wait a minute. Oh no, I know, it's crap. Just give me a no, couple more tries. No, not that. What then? You're going all first person on us. Bold move. I know. She won't like it. Yes, she will. No, she won't. Yes, she will. Because she, unlike you, recognizes true genius when it's sitting right in front of her. Sorry. Did you know if you say girl and ball real slow, it sounds like gullible? Try it. Go to hell, write the story. I'm trying. Jeez. I mean... Here I was in one of the strangest places on earth, a city that shouldn't even exist, that nobody could ever dream up, that had to evolve slowly over hundreds of years, organically. And I'm watching my sister, who I hadn't seen in so long, 
laughing and crying and arguing, sometimes all at once, all in the same moment almost. And it was all in. Expectation? Anticipation? Anticipation of their impending breakup. I think they kind of knew from the very beginning it was going to be a rocky road for them. I know I did. But try as I might, I couldn't find a villain in the story. And I loved them both dearly. Sometimes it's just the way it goes. But at the wedding, they were two lovebirds. Two lovebirds in a cage of their own making. Should have guessed, I suppose. And flitting through this strange scene in the strangest of cities was this little nymph as likely to slither into a canal or float up a chimney in a wisp of smoke. Here she comes. Almost done. Hey! What? You said you'd wait. Couldn't help it. Had an idea. Busting to get out. Any good? Try it. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, you went all first person. Yes. It's good. See, what'd I tell you? Genius. I never doubted. I like it. Thank you. And you? Pleasure. What are you doing? Adding a stinger. She's adding a stinger. I heard. Am I still a genius? Always. Shh. I think I grew up a little then. That time I spent in Venice. Watching those two people I loved and admired, finding their way through their own personal quandary? Conundrum. Maze. Maze. Their own personal maze. A maze as dense and dark as any of the alleys in this city of mazes. But just as in Venice, when a misty, damp night will give over to sparkling sunshine in the morning, I harbored a profound hope that my sister and David would float smoothly beneath the Bridge of Sighs one last time together, and that they will have reckoned their time together to be a blown glass jewel of precious beauty, and one they would not give up for anything in the world. <laughs> but my absolute best time in Venice was with you guys back in, what, 07? Yeah. My best was in 99 with my mother and my youngest son. Name? No names. I want a name. No names. It'll all leach out into our writing. The less we know about each other, the better. Oh. But most of all, I remember standing in San Marco with my mother and my son. Right at that time when day turns to night, I knew I wouldn't have much longer with my mother. And I knew my son would soon head off to parts unknown. Did he? Don't answer that. Venice is the perfect place for our story, you know? We know. You knew before I did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Your turn to write. I thought we were done for the night. Oh, one well, more, come on. Well, I did have a couple of ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thought you would. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see here.
Ahoy? Who knew the girl had a phone? So you okay? Yeah. Getting good stuff? Yeah, how about you? I'm getting better. Yeah? Not mad anymore. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, if you think it would help at all, I'm willing to accept all the blame. You think that might help? I'm not sure. I thought I'd ask. All the blame? Huh? You'll accept all the blame for the breakup, 100%. Well, yeah. I mean, it is all my fault. I mean, I hear a goddamn goddess for Christ's sake. I never deserved a goddamn goddess. Really. I never deserved you. Son of a bitch. I know. You're just not gonna let me hate you, are you? What? What'd I do? Even your zingers are meant to charm, aren't they? What? First guy in the world to say it's not you, it's me invented. I do. Hey, hey guys. Just a sec. I gotta extricate myself from this moment here. Well, there's something happening over there. What? He told me your matka. My matka. You will be no miss now. What's that lead? What? Hello? Hello? Yes, in English. English. No, what? No, 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 wait, wait. <sighs> he hung up. What's going on? Uh, it's her father, I think. Your your father? Your father, Natalie? Natalie. What'd he say? Something about her mother being in the hospital. I and mean, it was hard to understand. He said she has to come home right away. Right away? Yeah. Oh, poor girl. Come here. Well, you're almost done, right? Yeah. You can finish up with Nikki, yes? Yes. We'll put her on the first train in the morning. She's got a return ticket. Yeah, supposedly. Strange days. Yeah. Well, I gotta get the rest of the costumes. Come help. Okay. You do have a conclusion for all this, I hope. Oh, yes. Good, because I haven't a clue where you're going with this thing. Good. More? Oh, please. Yes? Oh, yes, please. Look at her. So pleased with herself. She's a good girl. <laughs> she is.
think we're gonna need a denouement. Denouement? Let's hope it's good. Make it good. It is. See? See, see. Okay. So. So? So, yes, apparently we've been ripped off. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, apparently it's some kind of new scam. These people from outside of town, you know, mostly Eastern Europeans or whatever, they come and liberate stuff from hotels. This is the first time he's ever heard of a rental property being hit. Well, are we liable? We shouldn't be liable. No, not if we can prove a crime was committed. Well, does he have our address or passport number? He's working on it. That's reassuring. Do you think they'll find her? No. 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 Really? Nikki, please, it's Italy. I gotta call the cops. Call the Carabinieri. I will. What a world. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Well, you gotta get out of the house a little more, kiddo. It's a crazy world out there. That's what I just said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you okay, sis? I'm fine. He said insurance will cover it. Insurance? I don't care about insurance. I don't give a damn about insurance. Sorry. Oh, Venice plundered tons of stuff from all around here. They still have a Constantinople. Who cares if a few villagers get their trinkets back? Yeah. No. No, what really bothers me is... What? Nothing. No, what? You've been in love before. A hundred times a day. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry. You know it would be easier if I could hate him? Yeah. But he has this air of the inevitable about him. It's what I resent the most. I mean, I'd be willing to hang on for a while, but... You know, with someone who won't engage. And I know if I stuck it out, I'd really end up hating him. And I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear it at all. No. Yep. Hey, Jay? babe. I think hey, she's babe. asleep. I think no. she's asleep. She just gets this way sometimes when she writes too late, remember? No, she just gets that way sometimes when she writes too late, remember? Hey, babe. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> we're, 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 we're a mess. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, let's go to bed. A great storyline, though. Really? Yeah, nice yeah. work, girl. Yeah, I've been working on it. Yeah, oh. it shows. Yeah. I got this. Oh. You take her. Come on, honey. One yeah. step at a time. That's a wrap. Good work. Thanks. Where's Rachel? Uh, still with the cops, I suppose. She knows where we are. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry I won't be seeing much of you anymore. Well, I haven't been seeing much of me lately these days anyway. No. Off seeing the world. Yeah. Seriously, though, your mom and Rachel would love to see you more often. Okay, I'm a jerk, I know. That's not what I was thinking. Oh. But now that you mention it, I mean, ah. Jesus, David, what are you thinking? What, are you gonna let her just walk away just like that? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, I have to, all right? I have to, or uh, I don't know. No, you'll what? What, die? No. Go batshit? 
My sister is a great person, okay? You can't have an aversion to her. Nobody could. I called her a goddess the other day. Only you could get away with that. Look, I just feel dead inside, okay? Like, like nothing. I, just, I feel like I'm living my life in a movie or something, but it's, but it's not real. I don't feel it. I'm just going through the motions, and I don't want to live that way. I'm not going to live that way. I hope you don't regret this today. <laughs> what do you mean? I do already. I mean, I know I'm screwing up, all right? I know that. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Here she comes. Hey, it's all good. I've got the police report. They're labeling it a larceny. Good. So, you good guys do good? Great. Good. All right, lots of rap time. Yeah, I just gotta get a shot of that boat real quick. Okay. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Mm, you too. I'm so glad we could bring you to Venice. <laughs> Me too. So, I'll uh, pick up all this stuff and we'll have a nice dinner tonight, okay? That'd be nice. The booking for the water taxi. David! I'll be right back. David! Only Venice could cast a spell on lovers, then leave them to fend for themselves. Only Venice could intoxicate its lovers and then abandon them in the morning. Only Venice could promise eternal love and smile serenely when it withers away. And I began to doubt my feelings from the night before, when Natalie's lips met mine. Never once had I considered such a thing. For others it was fine, but I never felt the attraction. And I couldn't sleep that night for swooning in the fantasy of a woman, a woman lover. I felt a real sense of danger and dread, for I'd had this moment in Venice. I'd had this exciting, intoxicating feeling the city of heartless romance, the place for reckless abandon in affairs of the heart. I'd been lured near the rocks by the beautiful whore they call Venice. As I looked out on the scene at my sister and David and Venice, I hoped that what I'd learned here would prepare me for the worst. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You can't end it like that. We need that big scene with David and Rachel. No, we don't. We don't need it. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes. I think we need another character. <laughs> at the end? You want to bring in another character at the end? That's someone for Rachel. Happy ending? You want a happy ending? You were the one that argued for the breakup in the first place. Oh, let's just bring back David and Rachel like they were some <sighs> characters. Yes, characters. Or something. <sighs> you know? What? What? Maybe we should just rethink the whole thing. What whole thing? Not the David and Rachel whole thing. Maybe we shouldn't have brought him back. Are you crazy? Oh, she's crazy. I think we should revisit the professors and the grad students. Oh, God. No, really, I've been thinking a lot about them lately. I can't seem to get them off my mind. Well, try harder. We're already committed to David and Rachel. And fine, if you don't like the ending, then fine, we'll fix it up a little. But I don't think we're going to go back to the professors and the grad student under any circumstances, right? Right. We have a perfectly good story now. All it needs is a little tweaking. And so fine, we fixed up the ending a little. Come on, just hear me out. Ah! Baby